over at the MGM Grand. Haley versus Loma. Go on, Josh. You give us your predictions and your thoughts on this fight. How's it going to go? Yeah, this is going to be a good one. Kind of one that has been in waiting a long time in the making, I guess you can say. We're going to get the guy, Devin Haney, who seemed to be poised to become one of the top boxers in the world, given that he started young and early. He was fighting in Mexico, built up his record there. He was used to being in enemy territory, etc. We saw what he was able to do to Kimbosos, and he's going to be taking on Vasily Lomachenko, the guy who many has regarded as the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world. Over the last several years, uh, he started to slow down a tad bit. He's getting older, of course, that happens. And Lomachenko, we know that he's dealing with a number of other things as far as what's going on in Ukraine. We saw him come back and take on Jermaine Ortiz. And Jermaine Ortiz, of course, showed up and made sure that he was he was, he was able to do what he needed to do to be competitive against Vasily Lomachenko. Uh, but he ended up losing a decision. Now, Lomachenko, many felt that he looked not too good in that fight. Some felt that it may be a matter of he is no longer the Lomachenko of old. It could have been a multitude of things that lended towards uh, why that was the case. But I do think that Jermaine Ortiz was just a big, strong fighter who was really game in that contest. So we're going to see what the both of them have to offer here. This being Haney Lomachenko in what in theory, in theory, at least, could be the two top guys at 135, uh, depending on how things shape up. Uh, you know, we have Tank Davis there. We have Shakir Stevenson there. But as far as who should be considered the top dog when this fight ends, I think it's the winner. And Devin Haney is coming in undisputed. I do think that uh, there are a lot of things that play into – Devin Haney's favor when you just think about boxing in a conventional standpoint, him being the younger fighter, uh, Lomachenko potentially having slowed down a little bit, and how each has looked in their last fight. Uh, and I will say that Devin Haney is 100% on his game entering his prime, and you can just see that he is becoming one with himself there in the ring. And Lomachenko, if we could get the version of him that took out Nakatani, I believe it was, that was a level of that was a level of offense and just defensive prowess that is hard to top for any. So if we see that version of him, it's gonna make things very, very interesting. But I know a lot of people have been leaning Devin Haney. And it's it, you know, it's one of those things. Lomachenko is at that point in his career because this might not have been the case a few years ago, a few years ago. And I know that a few years ago I would have been leaning uh Lomachenko as well. But this one is gonna be interesting. It's gonna answer a lot of questions, I would say. Uh, but it's one that I think is needed for 135. It will clear the air and hopefully uh if say for instance Devin Haney wins, which that is the expectation then hopefully we get Tank, Shakur Stevenson, those types of individuals with this young crop here doing their thing. Uh, but time will tell, of course. Time will surely tell. <laughs> For sure. Uh, Alex, did you have your go yet? Sorry, I just have to let the folks in. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no worries. You, you um, go, go ahead yeah, you and know. give us your thoughts. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, it's an interesting card. Um you know, we're seeing, I don't know if anyone's too familiar with Murataya. Um, Raymond Murataya has come out of Robert Garcia's gym. Uh, they, they're very high on him. So they're getting, they're getting him matched up against Nakatilia, who everyone remembers uh, went 12 rounds with Shakur Stevenson and then gets the Burchelt shot, moving up in weight, knocks him out. So that's an interesting fight. I think, um, you know, depending what happens in the main event, uh, we could see one of these guys fighting for a title very soon. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the Nakatani versus uh, Baloney fight. Um, I think Nakatani, you know, lefty, moving up in weight, um, seems to have a very crowd-pleasing style. Uh, so hopefully that's a good fight. Uh, I'm very disappointed in the co-main event. Oscar Valdez versus uh, Blue Nose Lopez. We've seen the fight before. Yeah, Blue Nose knocked down Oscar Valdez. Uh, Valdez got the stoppage. But, I mean, nobody cares to see it. Nobody's asking for it. I think Blue Nose didn't look very good his last fight against uh, Abraham Nova. 
who was coming off a knockout loss. So I'm very disappointed in that. I think it devalues the card and makes me not want to pay for that pay-per-view stream team. Uh, but, you know, to the main event, undisputed, you got the former unified champion, Vasil Lomachenko, coming, you know, coming off of, like you said, not the most, uh, you know, uh, great, you know, one, not one of his greatest performances. Uh, you can give a reason why here. You could say it's the age. You can say, you know, finally the size is making a difference. You could say because he's worried about his country. By the end of the day, you got to get in that ring, be the best you can. Going against a 20, 24-year-old Devin Haney, starting to really reach that prime. Doesn't look like... Uh, you know, someone that's going to be smaller, older, slower is going to be able to do much uh, to Devin. Uh, but Lomachenko, you can't take away his credentials. However, I think this is going to be an interesting fight for the first three rounds. And I think youth, I think speed, I think size is going to play a factor. And I expect Devin Haney to come out of this victorious. I'm, I'm putting it down right now. I'm thinking of a 9-3, you know, maybe 8-4, um, I think is what's going to be the con- – the consensus out there you know what the judges put who knows but uh hopefully it's a great fight and uh unfortunately i don't think the winner is going to be seen as a number one fighter still i think uh tank's popularity his knockouts uh and just uh, the buzz he has going for him is going to make him reign supreme and uh, hopefully the winner faces uh tank and if not i think shakur is probably the next best option but this is boxing mm-hmm. this is business and uh, this is the times we're in. So we'll see what happens next. Sweet. Um, I, for, for that one, I think... Um, no, I, I reckon Haney will win on points as well. But I'm probably be tempted to have a look at what they had to say for like a later stoppage. Mm. That could be quite interesting, depending on what they had to say. Because I think it potentially could be like an accumulation type of thing where... You know, Loma just taking too much, and then you know, age and all the other factors might just uh, catch up with him at this point. Um, so that might be a worthwhile look.